All right, let's get started with our alcohol ink course. This is what the alcohol inks look like. This is made by Ranger Adirondack, which is by Jim Holtz. And they come in these little kits of three colors. You also can buy them separately. The colors, they do a nice job putting the colors together. So you can't go wrong with any of these three colors that are in kits. So I'd advise you to pick your favorite colors. And you can see that these little bottles are small. They will last you a little while though, depending on how much you use for your backgrounds. But they're 0.5 fluid ounces. And they are flammable, so they do have a warning on them. So this is something I wouldn't recommend usually with uh, younger kids, and it does have a warning on the label. But alcohol inks basically, they're permanent, they're very fast drying, they're a dye ink, and they're formulated to create colorful, polished effects on non-porous surfaces. And they can be lightened and blended and you can remove some of the colors or the depth of the colors with the alcohol blending solution which is what this is and a lot of times i'll use this just for my backgrounds and i'll use regular 91 percent alcohol isopropyl alcohol if i'm using it to either take out paint or if i'm cleaning my brushes so what we'll be using for today's class is yupo paper and sometimes this is hard to find but they do have them online uh, you can order them in these little pads. This is a little 5 by 7 They're pre-cut. They're fairly thick. They're shiny, and they have a non-porous surface, so they're kind of glossy. And like I said, they come in this size, 5 by 7 and they also come in some other sizes. I have the larger one here, and they come in pads as well. Or you can, if you really enjoy it and you're not sure what size you want, they have the sheets that are 22 by 30 as well as full rolls which are about, I think, 60, 60 yards. So there's some opportunities for some different sizes. So you can paint on any size you want, but what I'm gonna start with is the five by seven because I'm gonna show you here in an eight by 10 mat. So as I said, we use 91% isopropyl alcohol and we use 91% rather than 70%. It just does a nice job lifting. And if you wanna use this in place of the blending solution, it does a little bit better job with the background. And really what that does is it or the blending solution, what it does is prevents it from drying really quickly on you. So we'll also be using a little fine detail brush. You want something with a nice point on it, so something very small. And this is a zero or a size one, which would be fine. Also, you'll want some gloves because the inks, as I said, do stain. So you want something that's gonna protect your hands. And it does get a little smelly with the alcohol base. So um, sometimes uh, people will wear masks when they're using this if it really bothers you, but make sure you're working in a nice ventilated room or a bigger space when you're using the inks. And you'll also want to have either a roll of paper towels or um, an old towel, something that you can wipe off your brush as you clean out each color with the alcohol. And sometimes I'll put a tissue down or paper towel down as I'm doing my backgrounds and that way the excess ink can drip off onto my paper towel. And what I have here is a mat set and a backer board. And this is an eight by 10 mat, which has an opening of a five by seven and an eight by 10 backer board. And this is a nice foam board. You can really use anything for your Yupo paper to tape it down onto but I would just recommend that you do tape it down onto something so that you can turn your painting as you move along in the, in the painting process. And then I'm using some blue painter's tape that I'll be taping down the Yupo paper onto that board with. And I have two cups. We'll be using this to fill up with the 91% isopropyl alcohol. And this is a Sharpie, a black Sharpie. These are great to use with alcohol inks. They're alcohol based, so they work very well with them. And I'll use this to either sign my work or if I have some fine detail black lines that I need to put into my painting, this is great for using. And not only the black, but I'll use the white if I wanted to do some highlight areas. And this is a gel pen. This one is made by Signo. And sometimes you'll find that it gets a little gummed up with the inks. So having an extra spare piece of paper just so you can kind of scribble and get that pen rolling again. It's always nice to have next to you. Now these are Spectrum Noir uh, markers. These I don't use a lot, but again, if you need to get some fine details and you have a hard time with using uh, the, the small detail brush and the inks are blooming on you a little bit too much, these give you a little bit more control. They're not necessary, but they might be fun just for you to try or have in your, 
your back pocket, so to speak, if you really get into the inks and you want to learn, learn about them a little bit more and play a little bit more with them. So our final material that we'll need, and this is once we are completely done with our painting and we've let it dry for 24 hours, this is Krylon Karmar Varnish. And I have to say, this is one of the only sealants that I've found that works with alcohol inks. And you're going to spray this a couple of times. You're going to do a couple coats. Once you let that dry, you can do a final seal of the UV resistant clear spray. This is just a coating that will protect it for um, light and for the sun. And I would also recommend if you do frame yours that you frame it using an, uh, a museum glass or an ultraviolet glass to protect it from fading. Mm -hmm.